All right, this one's gonna be on Kiwix. It's an offline wiki viewer. So if you have a shitty internet, or maybe you just want an offline database just in case the site goes down, or you know, you're ready for the zombie apocalypse, whatever it is, um, we're gonna have an offline here. And this one's actually cross-platform, so you can actually use it on other operating system. I believe it works on Windows and Mac too. And for sure it works on, um, you know, smartphones. So you can do that. But I'm going to show you how to use it on Linux here real easy. So I got a couple of, um, what is that, Wiis, right, uh, database here. And they're all in .zim files. That's just the format they use. And if you want to use this here, uh, they do have a GUI, but I, I probably wouldn't recommend that one. We're going to use um, Kiwix Serve, and it's a uh, server daemon uh web ui kind of thing so we're gonna run it in the background and then use a web browser to um use it like you know how you normally use the wiki so that's what we're gonna do here it's just called kiwix uh was that kiwix dash serve and then you want to put the port that you want to use any port you want i like using a high port just because uh it doesn't conflict with other, any other ports. So I'm going to use uh, 49, 849 here. And I'm going to run a dash dash daemon flag to run this uh, command in the background. And then from there, we're going to point to the path that we want. And we'll do a wildcard.zim. So we want all that database to be loaded when we run this here. So I'm going to run it. All right. Oh, it's already running. Let me quit out of it first here. Uh, we'll quit out of it. We'll do it again here. So this thing here, we'll run it, right? And it should run it on that port. So all you gotta do is bust out your web browser and wanna do uh, localhost, uh, colon 49849, the port that we used. And look at that, we have it here loaded. And if you wanna search, you know, on, um, what was that, our Arch ArchWiki uh, database, we'll just hit load. And from here you can search for, I don't know, whatever, Thing they have in here like tmux right um system d stuff everyone loves that <laughs> and we have it here you can read up on it stuff like that and if you want to go back to the library and choose a different one you could like let's say this one is the unix linux stack exchange right and we're going to load this one here and if i want to search for um said right and i can get some examples of how to use said you know people give you answers and they have it in here right so they have that now that's pretty much it for the program you can use this you know for offline a quick look at you know whatever the database is so this one's from uh game of thrones so some of them might be missing images depending on how they rip the uh you know the uh, wikis for different uh, wikis they have Anyways, they have it for like everything you can think of really, um, traveling, um, woodworking, astronomy, you know, whatever you can think of, they should have like a little wiki for it. And, you know, um, you can download those databases for offline usage. Um, anyways, pretty much it for the program. And as far as you want to get other databases, they do have one in here on their uh, wiki page here. So obviously the one I recommend is, you know, a basic Wikipedia, something like that. Um, they should have one for English, but they do have it for different languages too. Although English is the primary one, right? So a Wikipedia for like common stuff. If you're into Linux stuff, um, what would I recommend? They do have like As Ubuntu. You can get one from there, As Ubuntu, right? And just download from here. You can either use BitTorrent or I think direct download too that you want. Uh, so they're... Uh, that one's for the Ubuntu stuff. They do have Unix, uh, Stack Exchange. That one's pretty good for, uh, you know, bash commands and stuff like that that you can look up uh, for questions. And they do have the V Stack Exchange for, you know, like Vim and NeoVim too, I believe. Any type of Vim stuff. Um, what else is there? Not looking at. Pretty much it, really. That you know, if you're into Linux, those are the ones. Uh, I really wish they had one for. Well, I know this site is not a, a wiki page, but um, the command line foo website. If someone can turn that into like a wiki database, something. Kind of and the other one is the um, what is that? The Reddit subreddit for command line. Um, if they can, like, you know, uh, 
like I said, th that's not a, a, a wiki page either, but if someone can make it into a wiki page, that'd be great. And turn all the, um, you know, index all the, uh, the articles, of course. Um, and also like, you know, all the comments, because some of the comments are pretty good if you need to look it up and you want to do the offline instead of like, you know, connecting to the internet every time. That'd be great too. Although they don't have those two sites, like I said, um, but they do have some other stuff in here that's, you know, actually wikis. Anyways, uh, pretty much it for the program. And this one we're accessing from, you know, like the server slash web UI kind of thing. But uh, this one is, you know, using our local host here. So we can actually use this. If you want to use this from the command line, you could real easy, right? So basically you run this command to run all the, you know, to run it as a uh, server slash daemon kind of thing. And you can access it, you know, either from your phone, your uh, whatever, whatever you want to access from your web browser, whatever it is. But if you want to do this from the command line, all you got to do is use a command line web browser, W3M, and you paste in the, um, you know, the URL to it, whatever it is. So this is our local host. And you can still access it, you know, same way. So if I'm want to load uh, the Unix Linux Stack Exchange, I can go load here. And if I want to search for, uh, let's do set again. All right, we'll do a search here. Look at that. We can, you know, read whatever we read earlier in here, right? Real simple. Um, you can look it up on the command line if you don't want to pull it, you know, to the web UI. Uh, this one does have a GUI too, but I, like I said, I don't really recommend that one. Just do it this way, it's much quicker. Um, pretty much it for the program, really. And I do, I did create it aliases for this because I got really lazy of uh, trying to remember what the hell the command was. So this one, uh, I just call it offline wiki daemon and I'll start up the, you know, the um, the program with all the wikis loaded. And if I want to quit, I'll just do offline wiki quit and it should find the wiki serve program and then, you know, kill itself. So that's how I use it here. So if this one is loaded right now, we'll refresh it here. All right, it still works. If I do offline wiki quit, uh, this thing should be dead now, right? If I want to start it up again, I can do daemon, and it should load up again if I do a refresh. Oh, look at that, real easy. Anyways, uh, that is wiki, not wiki, uh, keywix serve uh, to do server slash daemon slash web UI, or you can use it with a command line web browser and access it from the terminal itself anyways if you want offline wikis for arch wiki it was an arch linux or any other uh stack exchange stuff um they should have in there and that'd be it for this one